Hello everyone, this is the teaser video for this coming Sunday, uh, January 8th, and um, it's interesting, the t it's titled Consistency, but I really, um, I think another thing is comfort, what makes you comfortable, and I, some people are comfortable, I'm a very rigid, regimented person, I kind of have a routine, I kind of do my routine, and my routine makes me comfortable, and and keeps, when things throw my routine off schedule, I can kind of get a little antsy or whatever. Um, other people don't like to have kind of a set routine, and they kind of like to fly by the seat of their pants and um, kind of do things on a whim, and I have things planned out. And it's interesting, on vacation, um, once I get to our destination, I really prefer things not to be planned out on vacation. It allows me to relax more. But if you like to fly by the seat of your pants, and not have structure, or if you're someone that prefers structure and having a routine, it, it's about what makes you feel comfortable. And I basically just gave you the definition between a youth pastor and a senior pastor. Um, one likes structure and one likes to fly by the seat of their pants. Um, but today, what I want you to read, I want you to read Psalm 136. Read the whole Psalm, Psalm 136, and see what sticks out for you. Um Different people will get different things out of it. Um, I found comfort in it, and I'll explain that during my message. Um, but Psalm 136 tells a story. You can try to figure out whose story it tells. Um, it's kind of read in kind of a two-part thing, um, where it's kind of like a you read the first part and then, and then a response. Um, but I'm just curious to see what stands out for you as you read Psalm 136. Um, as I read it, uh, again, there was some com comfort in there, um, again, being a person who has kind of a schedule. But I'm going to go into detail what the, the passage is or what the psalm is about and, and you know, talk a little bit about the, the format and why it is the way it is and, and, and see what jumps out to you. Because really... Um, what stuck out for me may not be something that is something you would notice or recognize or would even appreciate or even care about. Um, so that's what I'll be looking at this week. It's Psalm 136. Take time. Read the whole psalm. Read it multiple times if you'd like. Um, see kind of what part of it jumps out at you. What do you appreciate? But also think about that comfort question. Uh, that comfort question is kind of my opening uh, is what makes you feel comfortable? What makes you feel at ease, at rest, uh, relaxed? Those different things. Um, and find out if you are someone that likes knowing what's happening and stress-free, or if you're someone who kind of like not knowing what's happening because then you don't have to worry about anything, and then that makes it stress-free for you too. It's kind of a yin and a yang. It's just different personality types. And um, that's what we'll be talking about. So I hope to see everyone there. Hopefully everyone's back into the new year, had safe travels, got to see time with family, friends, and loved ones over the holidays. And um, hopefully we get right now, today, it's raining and kind of warm and you don't have to shovel rain. So there's some benefits to that. So again, I look forward to seeing everybody this coming Sunday, January 8th. Take care and see you then.